So the first transformations that we're going to investigate using our y equals f of x are y equals f of x plus 1 and y is equal to f of x minus 2. Okay? So what does it do to our graph? Now, this point here, for example, at 0, 0, because when I'm putting in x is 0, I'm getting y is 0. Okay? So I put in x is 0, I get y is 0. If I'm putting in x is 0 into this, and f of x is 0 when x is 0, then y will be 1. Likewise, when x is 90 degrees, I get 1. So when I put x is 90 into f, I get 1, then I'm adding 1, and I get 2. So this point will become 0, 1. This point uh, sorry, this point will become 1, 2. So what's happening is the curve is moving up by one point, okay, one unit. So when I re-sketch the curve, instead of uh, going through like this, it must be going through like this. Now, in order to help me, okay, I'm going to draw in some guidelines. Okay, so that's when we've got 1 and 2. So the curve will look something like this. Okay, so there's 180 degrees. There's 270. There's 360. There's 90. And there's 0. Okay, and that's what the curve will look like when I just add 1. So clearly, from that, I can identify that adding 1 has moved the graph up one unit. So if I do the same for this one, then my internal guess would be is that it's going to drop it down two units. So if I look at the point, uh, let's say this point here, at 270 minus 1, when x is 270 degrees, f of x is minus 1. So I put in x is 270 to that, I get minus 1, take away 2 is minus 3. So it drops the y coordinate down two positions. So if I were to sketch this one, okay, now that means that this line here, the x-axis, will drop down 2. So let's draw in some guidelines. So that'd be minus 1. There's minus 2. And there's minus 3. So this point will drop down 2. That point will drop down 2, etc. So my curve will start from this point here. Like so. So there's 90 degrees. There's 180. There's 270, and there's 360, okay? And this is my curve. So this is a sketch of the curve f of x minus 2. That's a sketch of the curve f of x plus 1. So from this, uh, we can say that if y equals f of x is transformed... So I'm going to use this symbol, this arrow symbol, to represent transformed or mapped to y is equal to f of x plus a. Then what this is doing is it's moving the graph up and down. And we call a movement of the graph where it's, it's not changing shape in any way. It's just moving around the coordinate axes. We refer to that as a translation. So this is a translation, and we describe a translation using a vector by the vector. Now, in this case, it's just moving up and down. So it's not moving from side to side. So the side to side motion is 0, but it is moving up A. Or if A was negative, down. OK? And that's our first um, type of transformation that we've investigated.